PCAST, you'll see traffic at your 1 o'clock correction. Yeah, you know, 1 o'clock and uh, 900 miles. It's a Cirrus at 11,000 feet. I'd like to vector you in close to that Cirrus. Take a look, see if there's anything un, uh, out of the ordinary. Our Southwest 821 is uh, level 12,000 X ray. Southwest 821, Orlando approach. Roger, expect a visual approach on the 18 right. And uh, I got a favor to ask if you can help us out with something. Yeah, go ahead. Southwest 821 on your TCAST, you'll see traffic at your 1 o'clock correction. Yeah, you know, 1 o'clock and uh, 900 miles. It's a Cirrus at 11,000 feet. I'd like to vector you in close to that Cirrus, take a look, see if there's anything un, uh, out of the ordinary uh, that you can observe from the, your cockpit that Cirrus has been north over the last uh, hour and a half to two hours. Okay. And Southwest 821, contact approach 134.05. You'll have further information on that frequency for you. Thank you. 4.05. One's up on 3405. Southwest 821, affirmative. Uh, if you would, descend and maintain 1 1000, and traffic is at 1 o'clock position in about 8 miles. All right, we're descending to 1 1 11000, Southwest 821. The aircraft has been no radio since Eglin, so it's been a long time since anybody's talked to this guy. He's on autopilot, and he's at 11,000 feet solid. Okay, we'll try and get a look at him. Thank you very much. Southwest 821, turn right 15 degrees. Do you see him on at least on TCAS? Uh, right, 15 degrees. We did see him, but he just dropped off. We'll uh, take another look. Very good. And Southwest 821, also reduce speed to 190. Okay, we're slowing to 190, Southwest 821. Southwest 821, turn right, hitting 180, and that'll bring you up alongside of the aircraft. Right, one eight zero south of twenty one. And Southwest 821, descend and maintain one zero thousand. I'll bring you up uh, underneath the aircraft, uh, so we don't have a separation problem until you get them in sight. The aircraft on your present heading will be one o'clock and five miles. Okay, we're descending to one zero thousand. We do have them on TCAS, and we just got them in sight. All right, Southwest 821, maintain uh, 1 1000 then and uh, navigate on your own uh, as close as you can uh, do safely and uh, take a look, see, and see if you can give us any information on uh, what you do see. Okay, we'll uh, go back up to 1 1000. We'll keep him inside. We'll let you know. Thank you. And you can resume normal speed, Southwest 821. He's indicating about 60 knots lower than you right now. Okay. November 1487, Charlie, Orlando approach on guard, if you hear me, squawk I down. Does he appear to be turning now? No, ma'am. Uh, well, he, yeah, he may uh, be on uh, a autopilot flight plan that takes him down Victor 537. He does appear to be in a turn to the left now. Okay, we're, we're turning with him. We're trying to catch up to him. We're turning with him. Okay, yeah, that would that would be on his flight plan route. So if the autopilot's flying the aircraft, it's just doing what it's supposed to do. Okay. Disney, exactly. Okay, uh, we're up next to him. We're passing him right now. We see heads in there. Uh, we don't see any movement, though. Southwest State 21. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. When you're able, fly heading 110 and descend and maintain 6,000. And uh, we'll set you up for 17 right today. Try to save you the time you uh, used up helping us. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, the, can you give me the heading, Ken? Heading 110, 6,000, and runway 17 right for Southwest State 21. 110 and 6,000, Southwest State 21. Southwest 821, apparently uh, we woke him up. Uh, he's on our frequency now. Thank you. Okay, that's wonderful. Southwest 821, turn left heading 090. 090 on the field inside Southwest 821. Thanks. We're going to take you just over the uh, Orlando VOR for left downwind, and uh, by the time you get there, you'll be about number one. Okay.
Can we get lower for Southwest 821? Southwest 821, the center maintained 5,000. 5,000, Southwest 821. Southwest 821, when you level at 5, reduce speed to 210. You can expect your base to turn to the north here in about 4 miles. And traffic uh, just uh, just off your left, we'll point them out again as you get a little closer in. Okay, at 5,000, we'll slow to 210, Southwest 821. And we've got a guy down uh, low at about uh, 11, 1130. Yeah, there's one right behind him, uh, Delta... Yeah. 737, that's your traffic, and I'll switch you over to the uh, sequencing controller here in just a moment. Okay. Up to stage 21, turn left heading 030. Once again, thanks for your help today. Contact approach on 127.75. 030, 2775, south of state 21. Good day. All right, eight tango Fox, John, give me a good rate of descent through 10,000, maintain 900,000. We've got Nordo traffic about 20 miles north of you, southeastbound Sears at 11,000 feet, and uh, he's not talking to anybody in there. This is Sears, 147 Charlie. Real quick, eight tango Fox, No, 1487 Charlie, Orlando approach. 1487 Charlie, Orlando approach. Uh, do you hear the transmitter? This is Sears, 1487 Charlie. Sirius 1480 Charlie, Orlando approach. How do you read this transmitter, sir? I can hear you loud and clear. Sirius 1487 Charlie, Wilco, turn right heading 180. And uh, are you experiencing any issues? Not that I'm aware of. I kept hearing negative approach, but nobody ever told me to change, and I started calling around, and they gave me you finally. Okay. Well, you're on a good frequency, sir. Stand by. We'll have you uh, descending for Kissimmee in just a moment. Aetis information, uh, Fox Trot's current. I will read the weather to you. Expect the visual approach to runway 14. Flighting 180 for now, please. What was the visual approach for which runway was it, 24? Yes, sir. It'll be visual approach runway 24 for Sirius 87. Charlie, fly heading 180. Heading 180. And looking for 24 visual aids. sorry. Florida Trade Con, this is the uh, watch supervisor. Hello. Hi, is this? Uh, no, he's left for the day. He's the operations manager, but are you the pilot of uh, 1487 Charlie? That thing, yes. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm the watch supervisor of the evening. What's the name? Um, I was asked by power here at uh yeah it's all because there was a uh, lot of communication yeah let, let, me, let me advise you if you hadn't been already that you're on a recorded line um there was a lot of communications for quite a while uh, estimates of upwards of an hour and a half um, i'm not sure the timing uh we we got a handoff from jacksonville center um, and they advised us that you'd been out of contact with them for at least an hour, maybe up, upwards of an hour and a half. Um, and I'm, I, I'm just going to assume you saw the airplane and we had to fly by you to see if you were okay. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah, we, we vectored the aircraft up uh, alongside of you because we didn't know if you had uh, uh, become incapacitated or, or what the what the issue was. We didn't know what your intentions were or what you were going to do. Well, it wasn't for not be able to talk to anybody. Well, apparently it was because you weren't. Well, that wasn't my plan. Yeah, well, um, we've uh, we filled out an incident report um, that will go to flight standards, and uh, about the only thing I need from you is uh, your, your name and a place of contact where they can reach you, a phone number or... Um, well, we'll be here for probably a week or so, but you probably won't be able to get a hold of me here. Okay. Well, it'll okay. take it'll take longer than that to process it over there at their office. So if you just give me a number where you can be reached when you get back to wherever it is you're going to be. Um, my... Okay. That's uh, that's all I need from you. Um, there's, there's not... not 
to my knowledge, there's not a pilot deviation report coming out of this or anything. It's just an incident report. Um, when we have to do something unusual like we did, we, we need to go ahead and get that on the record somehow. And, and you may or may not be contacted by flight standards. I don't know whether they will or won't. Okay. So, but yeah, you just uh, you, know, you need to maintain guard on the frequency. Uh, everybody from Jacksonville Center to Orlando Approach and everywhere in between was trying to get a hold of you. We we're trying to get a hold of you on guard, uh, frequency 21.5, and uh, we just had no luck getting a hold of you. Well, I could hear them the whole time, so anyway. Okay. Thank you, then. Yep, you have a good night. Bye. This is the end of the copy concerning the operational error involving Southwest 821 and November 1487 Charlie.